Greetings all, and welcome to the first meme video we are going to be running on the channel. So, I got to thinking, what should be the very first meme deck that we do? I've got a Consume quest, so I thought, well, maybe we can do Consume. There's a lot of new, cool Moons of Elsewhere memes that we could throw together as well. But I've, after thinking on it for some time, I opted to go with something that's very near and dear to my heart, possibly my favorite of the meme decks, and that is Lich's Ascension Scout. So the format we're going to try to use for these videos is going to be to explain the meme deck, despite the fact that it's kind of in the title, which is Ascension and, well, Scout, but go through how we're looking to play, how we're going to get the most out of this deck, and then we're going to play around with it some and just see how it performs. Maybe get some wins, maybe get some losses, trim it down into a nice video for you guys, but we'll see how it goes. So, Lich's Ascension Scout. You can see here, it's got a pretty special curve. Uh, we're up to 51 because I chucked in Mana Marco after Alliance War came out, and I never decided to pull anything else out from the deck. Oh no, I, I threw Razumdar in here as well. He doesn't really belong in the deck, but I felt like I had to add something. And hey, why not? So this is the current iteration of the deck. Most of your early game is dedicated toward ramp. And then you've got a couple prophecies in here to kind of stall out some games if need be. Palace Prowler, Kofor gain one Magicka. His Speaker has one Magicka while he's in play. Two of each. Adoring Fan because a wise person once told me, if it's not, if the deck doesn't have Adoring Fan in it, it's not truly a meme deck. So we put Adoring Fan in. And I say a wise person because I genuinely don't remember who the first person to say that was, but I like it. Uh, we've got Serial just in the case we can get some of these guys discounted. That'd be nice. Best is hitting a Lich's Ascension and getting it for four. Tree Minder, Ramp, Blackwood Distiller lets you go f on ring from it to Lich's Ascension. Some Prophecy Drain, some Prophecy Guard. Mundestone, because there is nothing better than an Alduin or Ode Alduin with Charge or an Odevang with Drain. Brynjol, for, for a little bit of Drain and Possible Magicka, combos very well with Palace Prowler. Because his is every time a friendly creature pilfers or drains, plus one Magicka. This is Pilfer and Drain, so when this goes face, it's plus three. One for its own ability, and then two from Brynjolf's ability. So you can get a lot of Magicka off that combo should you pull it off. Ransack for Prophecy Removal Health Gain. Sails Through Storms because, well, we had this curve, how could I not? Prophecy Health Gain, a little bit of Guard. Guard, Cat that doesn't belong in the deck. Dark Seducer, Night Talon, just a lot of Greed. Nest of Vipers for some Stabilization. Because after you get Lich's Ascension to play, especially if you're playing it on curve, I mean, ideally you're playing it on turn 5, turn 4, it is theoretically possible to have it out on turn 3 if you have the ring. Um, but get it out as early as possible if that doesn't occur, and you get it out on 7 or forbid 8, then you're going to need a way of easily stabilizing. Nest of Vipers or Odevang is a way of doing that. And you're still getting a little bit of value because you're getting that immediate play card of a higher cost. And we are running Alduin. Lich's Ascension is the only way to trigger Alduin in this deck as there are only two other dragons, Odevang and Nahagleev, thus dropping him down to a grand total of, quick math, 16 as his high. So I guess theoretically you could ramp that high. It's not likely. I've only ever played him. Uh, using Lich's Ascension. But, let's go ahead, experiment with some, see how it goes. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to take this on the ladder. We are currently sitting in the bottom of the snake on rank 3, so we have nothing to lose. Just fun to gain. Played a couple games already, haven't really seen anything that's been super great to show you guys. No real wins, and nothing where we've gotten really close. We're hoping to make that make a change here. Alright. Newt Newt 27 420, the immortal. We throw back anything that's not ramp or Lich's Ascension. There's ramp. 
Uh, we'll need to find the Lich's Ascension. There are three of them in the deck. We do have Ring. All of the games I have played up until this point, we have not had Ring. And having Ring is great. It's like a tree minder in your pocket. Well, on your finger. But I guess what have I got in my pocket anyway? So... What? You're you're the aggro spell sword that's been doing the loops. No, you're a Dwemer spell sword. All right, points for creativity. Brynjolf, additional ramp. We have a path to Lich's Ascension now. Turn two, turn three, Lich's Ascension, turn four. Because I'll ring this out, which will put us at four Magicka the turn after. Ring out Brynjolf. And then as long as he pilfers... Or, sorry, Drains, that gets us into Lich's Ascension. There it is. So not the fastest Lich's Ascension possible, but pretty close if Brynjolf doesn't get Edicted. This is going to bump here. Brynjolf plays to Shadow. Glad that came down there. Please no Edict, please no Shackle. So we'll be at 5, ring to 6, pilfer to 7, well, drain to 7. Like, you can guard up. You can guard up, my friend. Just put a nice guard there. I don't even care if he dies. Ooh, that's nice. Get a good Bonewalker Prophecy off of our first rune. And we'll be able to start going into Iron Atronox, Hulking Scalens. Alright, good. Plays Galen. There is no one-cost removal. There is Silence. He could play Hush. Suppress. Doesn't have it. Let's go. I can smell you. Could Edict that as well. We are also on the Shadow Fen turn. And if I can get an Iron Atronach deck back, I'm not sure how Dwemer do deals with Iron Atronach. We do have the obligatory read. We did clear his lane of Dwemer courtesy of that prophecy. Thus, nerfing any hulls he's going to put down. Hulls would be next turn. Looks like he's setting up for hulls, too. Five, six, seven, eight. Just put that down there. Guard up our drain. Wait, a cat. You want to get in the camera, cat? You get in the camera occasionally. Spirit of the sky. That's not Halls. And we have Regenerate on that. Alright, let's get going. And a Concede. That is Lich's Ascension. First victory on ladder. I am okay with this. I know you want me to pet you. Are you going to come up here and sniff my breath? I had fish today. I did. Come up here and be a cutes for the camera. Be a cutes for the camera. I'll give you pets. I can promise you pets for cutes. Pets for cutes? Is that a fair trade? You're giving me a dirty look. Okay, let's get up to the camera so we can be a cutes. I'll rub your ear. How about that? Are we done being acute? We went down. Ish. You want to sit in the lap? All right, we'll sit in the lap. To the next game. All right. So, telling you a little bit more interest. So, I used to actually keep track of every game I ever played in Legends. What I was playing, what I was playing against, had a Google form for it, kept track of everything. During the time I did that, Lich's Ascension, in casual, actually had like a 33% win rate. I think I've since upped it to about 40%. Ladder, though, ladder's sitting at a good old 25%. That's not a... I mean, I really wish I had the ring. But... Tree Minder, Bone Walker for some stall against Crusader. I just need to hope he's not a super aggressive Crusader. And, uh, yeah, it's super aggressive Crusader. Oh, it opens Bruma. 
mid crusader maybe I'll profit from your death. The mage is here. Gave this one a hold. Nope, it's aggro. This one will never forget that. All right, let's get some ramp. Sadly, we have two of our prophecies in hand, so I don't think this is going to be a win. And it does suffer from the biggest downfall of this deck. It has no defense against aggro. This one can be counted upon. You won't spoil my plan. And we found all three Lich's Ascensions. Alright, so we are going to play out... I want to get to Lich's Ascension next turn. I'm going to drop Bone Walker and Palace Prowler. This deck doesn't run a lot of guards, and Palace Prowler should be able to eat up a lot of that lane. Cat is now on top of the computer. If I can get a Lich's Ascension out, hopefully Iron Atronaut can hold. We are staring at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Divine Fervor puts that at 20 damage, exact, so we are staring at lethal. Uh, the Mercenary Captain does the same. Alright, in the hands of a prophecy. We've got Adoring Fan. We've got Ransack. We have Bone Walker. This one can be counted upon. Alright, there's Bone Walker. Sadly, likely not enough. He just needs three damage. Iron Atronach locks down this lane. But he's gonna still have uh this will trade well, I could trade here. That'll drop him to four damage, which I'll be at four. I would need Alduin or Odevang here. Iron Atronach, not good enough. We, we got close. But we're going to concede out there. We briefly, briefly went up the snake. Threatened to get out of the snake. But then ladder struck again with aggro. And we're back at the bottom. But I think we're going to call it there. Two really nice games. Honestly, I think that second one, it wasn't unwinnable for us if we had the right cards, i.e. if we high rolled. But hey, it's Lich's Ascension. High roll is what you go for, which is what we got last game. So we'll go ahead, we'll call it here. If you guys have any deck ideas or anything you want us to see us do, I've got all sorts of decks that we've thrown together. Some of these will probably end up on a video, like our Sparky Pants deck. Um, do I still have Dweamer Denial of Service sitting around here? Dweamer Denial of Service. There's a lot of fun stuff to be had. But we're going to call it. I'll see you guys all on the ladder. It's been fun. Uh, links to all the important stuff in the description. If you would, spread the word. We're just getting this YouTube stuff started up. And every little bit helps. Best of vibes to you all.